It's Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023, and I'm Dave Sobel. Three things to know today. The future of cybersecurity, vCISO services expected to soar by 480% among MSPs and MSSPs. Workforce reskilling for AI adoption leads to 15% revenue growth per IBM. And Microsoft's strategic move with Databricks, positioning Azure as the go-to cloud for AI. This is the business of tech. Alinea Partners is your sales readiness assessment company. They identify untapped opportunities in offer development, managed services, and customer experience. They pioneered the secret shopper in the IT channel, and they want to help you get your provider going with instant value and momentum. Contact them at alinea-partners.com that's A-L-I-N-E-A-partners.com. And remember, profit is not something to add at the end. It's something to plan for in the beginning. Tell them Dave sent you. Per the state of the virtual CISO report by Sonomi, the number of managed services providers and managed security services providers providing virtual chief information security services is set to increase by 480% from 19% to 86% in North America by the end of next year. This trend is due to the rising frequency of cyber attacks and SMBs turning to vCISO services as they cannot afford to hire a full-time security professional. The top benefits of vCISO services center on business growth, but service providers cite limited in-house security and compliance expertise, high upfront investment, and cybersecurity skills gaps as the top barriers to entry. Most MSPs and MSSPs already offer components of vCISO, so they could potentially repackage them into a lucrative vCISO offering. The Play Ransomware Group is targeting managed services providers globally to distribute ransomware to their downstream customers. The group uses intermittent encryption to evade detection and targets mid-sized businesses in various sectors across the U.S., Australia, the U.K., Italy, and other countries. The group gains access to MSP systems via a phishing campaign and exploits vulnerabilities in Microsoft Exchange Server and Fortinet appliances. The Play Ransomware tool uses internet encryption to make data inaccessible on victim systems, and the group has claimed at least 150 victims so far. Why do we care? Providers are a crucial inflection point for the security chain. They have to be on their game to execute for customers with increasing demand, so a formal program like vCISO makes some sense. They're also a pressure point for attack. This isn't the first group attacking providers and won't be the last. You may not want to be in the security game, but you are in the security game. LinkedIn's new report, AI at Work, analyzes trends in AI and highlights important shifts, such as a 21 times rise in job postings mentioning AI and a 47% increase in U.S. executives who believe AI enhances productivity. LinkedIn predicts that generative AI could help workers be more productive as it takes over less human-based skills. The report suggests that AI will accelerate the change in skills required to do jobs rather than completely replacing them, and people skills will become even more valuable. The top five jobs predicted to be affected by AI are software engineer, customer service representative, salesperson, cashier, and teacher. A new report from the IBM Institute for Business Value found that workforce reskilling is a major challenge for businesses deploying generative AI. Over half of executives surveyed estimated that two in five of their workers will need a reskill due to AI and automation over the next three years. 87% of executives expect generative AI to augment roles rather than replace them. The study also found that those who successfully reskill to adapt to technology driven job changes report a revenue growth rate premium of 15% on average. And those who focus on AI see a 36% higher revenue growth rate than their peers. A survey by AMD found that three out of four IT leaders are optimistic about the potential benefits of AI in the workplace including increased employee efficiency and automated cybersecurity solutions. 
However, only half of the respondents believe their organizations are sufficiently equipped to adopt AI technologies, and over 50% have not yet experimented with the latest natural language processing technology. In more bad uses of AI, the Mason City Community School District in Iowa is using ChatGPT to determine which books to ban from school libraries to comply with Republican-backed state laws. Administrators input the query, does book contain a description or depiction of a sex act into ChatGPT for each book that is commonly challenged. However, the answers generated by the tools are sometimes contradictory based on how users prompt and query the software. A recent paper covered extensively by media outlets, including the Washington Post, cited that ChatGPT expresses liberal opinions. Upon further research, the study did not actually test ChatGPT and instead an older API model and used an artificially constrained prompt. When directly asked about political opinions, ChatGPT refused to opine in most cases. The concern of political bias in chatbots is real, but it is also complex and sensitive to the prompt and user interaction. Why do we care? Bad uses of AI should be another podcast, but it's helpful to highlight where unthinkingly trusting the output will cause trouble. These last two stories show how important using technology well will be. Prompt engineering is a thing. The differences in how AI is queried will matter. Everything about these surveys highlights the training, skills gap, and thus opportunity. Some of this will get handled by effective product use, which is still a training offering. Let's break out some interesting AI tactical moves. Microsoft plans to sell a new version of Databricks software that helps customers make AI apps for their businesses, positioning it as an alternative to OpenAI. The software would be sold through Microsoft's Azure Cloud Server Unit, allowing companies to make AI models from scratch or repurpose open source models. IBM and Microsoft have collaborated to launch a generative AI-managed service in Azure Marketplace, providing developers and data scientists access to generative AI tools and pre-built enterprise use cases. The partnership advances IBM's multi-model open ecosystem approach to the technology, providing customers with multiple AI solutions across various hyperscaler platforms and through Watson X, the enterprise AI and data studio deployed last month. McKinsey has launched a generative AI chatbot to bring its knowledge to clients. The McKinsey AI chatbot can answer questions and provide insights on various topics, including strategy, operations, and technology. The chatbot is part of McKinsey's broader effort to use AI and other technologies to enhance its consulting services. Upwork and OpenAI have partnered to create OpenAI experts on Upwork, connecting businesses to a verified AI professionals skilled in open AI technologies. The partnership simplifies sourcing AI experts and underscores the evolving landscape of opportunities within the gig economy. The program includes a stringent pre-vetting mechanism to ensure top-tier professionals with verified skills and experience. Why do we care? Microsoft is hedging its bet. It wants to be the cloud for your AI needs. That's smart. Thematically, the moves here are about offering customers an option for AI. Any of these could be replicated with your customers and should color your thinking about going to market. Partner Hero is an outsourcing company that goes beyond industry norms to prioritize employee empowerment, career growth, and quality performance. They pay above market salaries and have a management team that includes individuals from the startup world making them more than just a service provider. They're also a thought partner for startups. With flexible terms to let you scale quickly and offices around the world for global coverage, you get a thought partner for your business with quality assurance baked into every program. You know I believe in outsourcing. It's what IT services is all about. If you're ready to bring in outside customer support help for your startup that feels like it's part of your existing team, check out Partner Hero. Head on over to partnerhero.com slash business of tech to book a free consultation with their solutions team. Mention you heard about Partner Hero from Business of Tech and they'll waive the setup fee. 
Thanks for listening. Join me tomorrow, Wednesday the 23rd at 3 p.m. for a live stream on LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook talking about the recent CMMC 2.0 draft leak where we learn what's in the new version. And for those listening on Stitcher, remember, you're running out of time. Make sure to move to a new, different podcast platform. I'm on all the podcast catchers. Talk to you again tomorrow. The Business of Tech is written and produced by me, Dave Sobel, under ethics guidelines posted at businessof.tech. Like the content? Support the show at patreon.com slash MSP radio or buy our Why Do We Care merch at businessof.tech. If you want to reach our listeners, visit mspradio.com slash engage. Part of the MSP Radio Network.